Even though I was no longer involved, I did remain very interested in this therapy, as I saw so many people's lives that had changed for the better. One day I was reading through a new research study about this clinic in the UK that was published by Sheffield University, and something in it caught my attention. The paper stated that the development of the DOOR method, that's what the clinic was called, the DOOR Achievement Centers, it was based on the work of Dr. Frank Belgal and his Learning Breakthrough Program. So I checked out this Learning Breakthrough Program, and lo and behold, it was a balance and sensory integration exercise program similar to the method used at this expensive clinic. I contacted Dr. Belgal and explained what I had just experienced. We met at a conference of developmental vision specialists where Dr. Belgau was discussing and showcasing his therapy. It turns out that Dr. Belgau began development of his therapy in the 1960s when he was the director of the Visual and Motor Perception Laboratory at the University of Houston. There, Dr. Belgau experimented on children with average and above average IQs that had difficulty reading to find out what activities would help them read better. By the way, there is a wonderful book called A Life in Balance, Discovery of a Learning Breakthrough, that explains how Dr. Belgal went about discovering this therapy. Now, by experimenting on these kids, I don't mean he was prodding and poking at them, but rather he would have them read aloud as a parent observed, then they would perform an exercise, and then they would read again. He would keep doing this until he found specific physical movements, such as tossing a bean bag while standing on a very unique balance board that he invented, that improved the way they read. Dr. Belgal did this year after year until he came up with a suite of exercises that actually changed reading ability and it was repeatable. It turns out it also changed coordination, speech, handwriting, and the ability to focus and pay attention. Since 1982, when the Learning Breakthrough Program was first published, Dr. Belgal and his wife Beverly had been teaching 20 to 30 developmental specialists, such as occupational therapists, speech and language pathologists, about his Learning Breakthrough Program. He and Beverly would travel around for many years with their children in tow, putting on seminars about his Learning Breakthrough Program. Most of the attendees at his seminars were occupational therapists, speech and language pathologists, and special educators. These are people who are all recognized as practitioners to treat conditions like dyslexia, dyspraxia, among other things. Dr. Belgal's seminars were approved by the American Occupational Therapy Association as continuing education credit for occupational therapists as part of their requirements to keep their medical license. This little-known therapy has been used around the world for decades, but only by a relatively few specialists who were fortunate enough to have attended one of Dr. Belgal's seminars. Knowing what I saw in the United Kingdom and what I learned from Dr. Belgal, I knew there was a great many people who could benefit from this safe and effective therapy. However, it would have to be easy to use and it would have to be affordable. As I looked carefully at the Learning Breakthrough Program that he had, it was obvious that in its present form, this therapy was not something the average person could easily use on their own. It would take professional assistance for an untrained person to effectively use the program. It was difficult to follow, and it was difficult to understand. So I suggested that the program be revised to be easy to use by anyone. Dr. Belgal then restructured and organized the activities into daily segments, which made it easy to use without the need for professional help. I then produced an instruction manual that a non-medical person could easily understand and a follow-along video that provided every single movement every single day. Dr. Belgal and I entered into an agreement where I would take his program and get it out to the world and I would pay Dr. Belgau a royalty for every kit that we sold. Dr. and Mrs. Belgau have told me many times that I am the only person who has ever paid them a dime to use their life's work. 
Numerous therapies and programs, such as the DOOR Achievement Center, have borrowed parts of the Learning Breakthrough Program without crediting Dr. Belgal and without compensating him. 